so our 11th experiment is deduction schemes so ask fsk bpsk deduction schemes next experiment is simulation of ask and fsk deduction schemes so previous one among eighth experiment so eighth experiment la generation scheme the three modulation schemes kana generation waveforms we are supposed to do so here in 11th we are going to deduct generate panni modulate panni nam send panna signal la we are supposed to deduct the signal so get back panna the message signal la mattum retrieve panna so adhuk enna solranga they have given they have they have given us to deduct the ask fsk and bbsk so what i planned is so initially i have Uh, I have told you the coding for ASK, FSK, and BBSK. All of these generations are single code line. We will see, right? So, if I am going to do ASK separate, FSK separate, BBSK separate. So, three modulation schemes are separate coding. So, in separate coding, there will be code for generation and reduction within itself. Over code line, generation and reduction are there. Separate are there. So, similar way, we are going to see that. Now, I am going to open MATLAB. So here in MATLAB, as usual, editor window, new script. I have typed the code. So greenish color here. Yeah, any indicate for this? It indicates the explanation. What we are what we are writing and the command words are that order explanation. So in this code, I am going to write for ASK modulation. So for that, I have given the title as ASK modulation. Ah, if only in my normal day, order explanation could come up. Now the greenish layer line only. If I display again, the percentage in the symbol. So this is the syntax in the MATLAB. The first page symbol we use for now, madam. It will show you it is something other than our code. Our code, our another thing, I mean, sorry, it will show you. So if we remove that, you can see the change in the color. So now this, uh, this is some sir, uh, or command word or code away I have now. I am going to do now. We are cutting because now the proper design is done. So here, percentage is very much important. So as usual, CLC, CLC in the sense. Clear command window. So previous up process or like experiment simulation results are all command down. No, oh sorry, clear down. No. So for that we are using CLC. So next one clear all. So same thing. Next close all. So previous up open like simulation window, figure window, everything should close. So that we have given here. So next, so these are the codes for generation. For generation of our carrier signal. So basically we need a carrier signal as well as our moderating signal that is message signal so in the rendu signal la enna panuvom modulator ku input ah we will give so here for carrier gen signal generation i have written this code so as usual or waveform abina you you, are, you must know the time period as well as the nature adoda amplitude and nature so time period i have defined the time period to be then frequency term also i have defined and t term also i have defined so next on the nature eppadi irukka paaru So square root of two TB. So in the carrier signal, our and the waveform our nature is this. See in the sense carrier signal I mean, what is this? Square root. Square root. I mean, what is this? We can write like that. This is the syntax. The square root. I mean, what is this? Square root. I mean, what is this? You can write as a word in using this MATLAB code. So here I have written like that. So next it is a sine wave nature. So sine wave. I have written here two pi x t formula. So next, so generation of carrier signal is over. So next, I am going to generate the message signal. So message signal, in the sense that it is composed of zeros and ones. Ella me abhi ko zeros and ones are na arka pore. So adu ko I have initially defined the t value. Then again, ena abhi na random generation. So message signal loda bits ella thi na random a generate panna pore. Na me zero random generator ga usually I use pono for generation of message signals. Modulator block ko ke before la zero random generator. So adi ena pono random a it will Generate the message bit sequence zeros and ones. It will generate. So I have written like the uh, written the code word uh, in that way. Then here, whenever the value of message signal is greater than point one, it should one. So that the length should be t. So next, similarly, if if the condition fails, it should be zero. The length will be t. So next, here comes our modulator. Modulator order output. A modulator output should be. It it should be a product of our carrier signal as well as our message signal. So I have written like this. So then, as usual, in order to see the waveform in a figure, ma graphical manner, we have used a subplot, axis, and plot, then title, and for our message signal, carrier signal, as well as for our ASK signal. So next, we have to retrieve the information, right? So for that demodulation, we have used. I have written like that in ASK demodulation. So here also, as usual, time period. Here, the main thing is for modulation, we have used product modulator. 
we have we have used product monitors so here demodulation we are using correlator so correlator is nothing but another one our message receive pandrakana receiver retriever so it has to retrieve our message from our carrier signal so this is the formula i am using x equal to sum into summation in the sense sum in the sense summation uh, which is an amplitude modulated signal sorry a is a modulated signal da namakku enna da vandirukku input ah vandirukku nammoda correlator ku so then decision device this block you might have seen in the ask modulation or the block diagram la sorry demodulation block diagram la you might have seen decision device so the decision device enna pannum based upon the value of x x or the value of it will uh, decide the value of uh, value of the uh, receiving signal either it is a 1 or 0 so for that also time period i have defined then we are supposed to plot those so first enna pandrom ellathume eppadi eppadi irukonu nam nature ellathume define panni eludrom after that we are supposed to see it in a graphical form so adukku and output nam graphically paakanum figure window output window paakanum irukaga this i used to a subplot title as well as x label and grid on so already i have saved it again i am going to save and i am going to run so here a message window matlab editor window message pop up so here i am supposed to choose add to cart and now we can so i am going to run and we can get the output for ask generation as well as deduction so i am going to expand it we can go through here so this binary digits are the input message bits so these are generated by our pseudo random sequence generator so we have defined already right m is equal to random sequence we have defined so from the the binary digits are uh, displayed here then our message signal so message signal in the sense enna nam generate panirukka in the binary digits and the square wave and the digital signals message signal ah it is that so next we have a carrier signal carrier carrier is always our sign wave so it is also here so, so then ask modulated signal ask modulation in the sense in the whenever it is zero it should not produce any output you can check this case for zero here also zero here carrier signal there is no change in the there is nothing here you know, whenever the zero is transmitted so here also for a zero case there is nothing here so then demodulated wave demodulated wave means it is the original message we have transmitted that is our binary data it is again we get back so this is the concept behind our ask so continuously next we are going to see about fsk so single experiment le they have given the three modulation schemes so ask le epdi namu or message signal adoda generation as well as deduction paathumo the same concept we are going to see here only thing which will change is the wave form nature so in fsk we are going to use two carrier signals then everything will be same as like that of ask and also another modification is in ask case modulation we have used product modulator so here we are going to use multiplier as our modulating block so here both the carrier 1 and carrier 2 is separately multiplied with the message signals so next uh, next is our we are supposed to draw the we have to represent the graphical representation so as usual subplot title everything we have written here so next after we modulation we have to demodulate it so here also we are going to use the correlator as well as decision device as usual as we have already seen in the ask scheme here also correlator a correlator as well as our decision device so i am going to save it the same concept only little bit change so i am going to run it again so we have got the output so whenever the binary data bits are zero the frequency is comp compressed frequency of our modulated waves so again here also in this while you are seeing through the time period 6 here it is the frequency also compressed so this is our message signal which is represented in terms of our square wave then we have to retrieve back the message that is demodulated data so that is our binary data which resembles the input message we can verify from this whether that tra our transmitted signal is retrieved or not we can verify by comparing this binary data as well as demodulated data so this is our fsk then i am going to use open bpsk so here also the same concept only the phase will change right for the phase change here the product modulator of the carrier signal here also the product modulator but the only case is it is going to change the phase so i am going to run it you can run bpsk generation and detection and this is my output you can see clearly 
whenever red is a zero in this case if you take the time period t3 it is zero case so here the phase is another change ayirukku so before sorry here only the one is on, one is zero two is zero as well as three is zero so for three cases there is a shifted uh, waveform you can see it, the waveform has started from the down axis it is continuing because continuously we are having zero message then in the, for the time period 4 we have one as a transmitting message so for the one case the phase is now shifted you can note it down so here it is uh, started from the downside of the axis here for one case it has started from the upper axis so this is the phase shifting concept again for the sixth time we have to get the data is a shifted form so again it is shifted so then again one so again it is get back to its original state so this is the concept again we are going to demodulate the uh, demodulated data so this is the demodulated output which resembles our transmitted information so here we are verifying the generation as well as deduction of our bbsk fsk as well as ask